Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and boy do I have something planned for you today. But first, I wanted to mention that I do have a Discord. If you guys want to hop on that Discord, I would really appreciate it. Get some chatting going on, get some stuff talked about. You know how you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Also, I have a Patreon if you guys are interested in stuff like that. I'd really appreciate you guys checking that out. And let's get on with today's video. Alright guys, so before you see anything, let me go over this. I've changed a lot of stuff and I've done a lot of work off camera. I just wanted you to pay attention to the days that have passed by up in the top left hand corner. A lot of days. Um, I have spent a lot of Minecraft day and nights working on what I've been working on. And without flight, uh, mind you this, um, I did not get a replay unfortunately. Um, with the two updates, I was in between the build. And the, uh, I, apparently if you update the pack and you change mods, you cannot, uh, use your past replays. So yeah, that happened. Um, so, unfortunately I lost all this, which I was, I'm, I'm super salty about. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm beyond, uh, angry about. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go over this. So, um, the way I can get up here is just by using this flight. And, uh, temporarily I just put trees up here, but I do have a grass platform. Which is gonna be nice for a lot of things. Um, we can use it for whatever, but I do have this and I plan on building other things off of here. Like this is just like the minimum. Um, and then I did do all the runes, not the, uh, not the gluttony ones, like the one that get up into the gluttony and pride and stuff like that. The ones we have to actually make 10 of, uh, but I got all your, all of the basic ones, um, completed. So these guys are the, the ones that are pain. And I actually, the hardest one is the winter, believe it or not, because it requires cake. Um, and luckily enough, we had the cows um, that we ended up getting um, a few episodes ago. So um, this definitely helped out a lot having cows. Um, actually, all of the animals except for pig has spawned in here. I don't know why pigs have not spawned, but they haven't. Um, I did upgrade my mana pools. Um, I had a mana spreader and I got these guys over the period of time. Um, I ended up getting them completely filled. And along with that, I also made the uh, alchemy catalyst so I can change things around. That's how I got my uh, first few uh, mushrooms. And uh, what I did was I made a mycelium farm over here so I could pretty much have a mushroom farm going on. Now, for this to be really effective, I actually need to block it off and make it dark. Um, right now I have it lit up. Um, that's just to keep mobs from spawning. So as you can see, I should have... A healthy bit of gold here. We're gonna work on a few of the quests that I need to complete. I have so much copper. I'm really waiting to pro for uh, us to get actual editions open so we can get some of that processed. Um, and then like this area is where my processing and stuff like that's gonna happen. I haven't closed it in yet, but I wanted to go over this. So I need a lot of diamond. I mean a lot of diamond. So I've been doing this. I've been processing tons and I mean there's drawers back here uh, I'm just trying my best to uh, get as much free stuff as possible and making sure this is consistently making uh, charcoal, in which it is. It's consistently making it. And then over here, I'm making stone, as you can see, because I am going to need a bunch of stone. So this guy, with this setup, you can easily do it. Um, there's a cobblestone generator with a block breaker behind it up there. Um, I think I can possibly show it. Yeah, it's just your uh, normal cobblestone generator. I don't know what happened here. Did it break? It did. Sometimes it does this. I don't know why it does this. What? It made smooth stone here. Yeah, it's it's a bit wonky. Um, I've been having issues with it. I don't know why it is continuing to do that. But um, let me get my bucket real quick. I'll fix it. No big deal. But yeah. Um, this guy was producing smooth stone for me, um, pretty, pretty easy. Um, I need to get my obsidian miner out. Thank you for that obsidian, and I'll break you. And the water, for some reason, is not fixing itself. There it goes. So yeah, it, it, it sometimes has its itch issues, I don't know. Yeah, it should be just creating cobblestone, just like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it's something to do with 1.12. 
Um, I've heard System even talking about it. He said something about 1.12 that causes issues. But yeah, that's what's happening. But yeah, it makes smooth stone. Not as easy as that. So this all generates uh, wood. Um, if I had that crafter, it'd be even better. I wish I had some kind of crafter. Instead of just using this, because, yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's get into how to make um, diamond, because I need a lot of diamond. And so I've been processing all that charcoal, and you throw the charcoal in here, and it gives you regular coal. And then we have to take all of this coal, and honestly, this, this much is not going to give us a lot. So if we get 64 blocks of coal, we can then surround it, and this is going to give us the equivalent to 8 diamonds. I know. It's a lot. That's a lot of coal, right? And we're going to need a lot of diamonds. No joke when I say a lot of diamonds. Um, to complete all 10 of those guys. So I'm trying my best to, uh, to get all this done. And I'm hoping this is enough. If not, I'm going to have to wait even longer to complete that quest. I mean, there's other quests that we can complete. I'm not worried about that. But uh, yeah, this is definitely one of those that requires tons of diamond. And it's going to take a while to actually get this. So, um, the hardened coal, that's exactly what we're looking for. Painful to get, but uh, it'll feel very worth it whenever we do accomplish it. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So yeah, we have all that working out. I can put my blocks of coal stuff back in here so we can fire that up later. Um, this is where it's going to get interesting. So, I put the hardened coal in here. We have to wait, because it does take a little while. And we're going to start seeing diamond show up. And there we go. We're getting diamond. Um, this may tick before it goes off. I just have it set to a, a normal rate. 25. It doesn't really matter. You set it to 20. It's not going to go off until it has enough uh, HU anyways. So just keep that in mind. Bam. As you can see, we're getting the diamond. But it is consuming one per diamond. So, mm. man, it. It hurts. It hurts because it took that. It took the entire time for me to build this to just get that amount. And I'm sure there's faster ways of doing it. I'm sure I can make more of these and just have a bunch of them. But you know, I don't know. I had some time, so I decided decided to build, and uh, that's exactly what I did. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the things we're gonna need um, for the Batania stuff. So, the Batania runes. So, we have, uh, right here, we're gonna need all, of, we're gonna need ten of each. So, as you see, if we need ten of each, and it only gives us one, it does give us, it should give us these back. I'm pretty sure. Um, if it doesn't, I'm rage quitting. Um, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, uh, this uses quite a bit of mana as well. Um, it's probably gonna use a, almost a full mana pool just to get ten of them. Actually, it will use that, because this is section into four, so that's eight. So it'll use more than a mana pool to get just one set of one of these. And we need all of these. Runes of Pride, Envy, Wrath, Sloth, Greed, Gluttony, and Lust. So, yeah, a lot of mana diamonds. So, we've got a lot of diamonds ahead of us. I... The sheer amount of diamonds, I'm just like, whoa. Because if it uses two and we need uh, 10 of each, that's going to be 20 per set. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, 70 diamonds in total. Um, no, no, no. More than that. Uh, uh, 140 diamonds is what we're going to need. And you've just seen how much coal it takes to actually get that. Um, so yeah, I, I that is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a ridiculous grind. I don't know, uh, I don't know why it's such a high, such a grind. Um, because I don't think I can use any of the armor. I can't convert anything else. And there's really no other good way of getting diamonds. Other than that way. So yeah. That's something that we're going to... It's going to take a long time for us to get that unlocked. I can almost 100% guarantee that's going to take a long time. So, we're going to mainly be waiting to get that done. Until then, we can start working on other things. Um, if we take a look at our quest book. And we remember that a basic factory 
didn't look too hard to complete, and I do ha think I have everything here ready to go. So, let's go check it out and see if we can actually complete this. So I needed the bones, I need a stack of this, so there's one stack. I need a stack of the uh, glands, and then uh, zombies. I need a stack of your hearts. There's that. And then I need a stack of sugarcane, which I've been working on as well. And I definitely have a stack of sugarcane. Um, I put my stack of sugarcane... It is upstairs, I think? Oh, no, no, I put it up against this wall. I keep forgetting that I had all this stuff here. Okay, and then I need another... this stuff. And that should complete it, right? Right? Am I missing something else? We have to submit it. And claim a reward. Bam, we unlocked life in the forest in heavy machinery. It's life in the forest. Okay, so that's going to be what we have to get to next, but we unlocked this crazy, crazy spider web mess. Holy moly. Okay, so compact auto crafting. Wow, that's something that I actually want to get. Um,. So, there's a few things that this mod did. I actually looked it up. Um, and so, th just these items right here are very useful items for automation. Um, and we're going to be using those for sure. Like, there's no way not to use them. And I honestly think I could use them right away. Um, so, getting... Here's a problem I have. I want to get these items automatically over here into this machine into the top of this guy so that way coal can consistently be made so I'm gonna break that and we're gonna try and use some of those items to actually use those conveyor belts and stuff like that to get it to work so basic factory uh, we have our first section um, auto ejector so this is going to pull items out of stuff um, Pulse Piston, that is something that you can uh, use to sort items on the conveyor belts. Um, the Insert Hatch is actually how you get conveyor belts to insert items into blocks. And then what's, what I call conveyor belts, they're transport rollers. Um, those guys uh, let you um, let the items move, so they move items back and forth like pipes. And uh, Fan Lifts push items up, and the receiver actually catches the items. And you can, of course, have them going uh, up or down. So items actually drop onto uh, lower uh, rollers. And uh, the fan actually lifts the items up. So that's something to keep in mind. All of these things are awesome. So auto ejector is something that I want to make. So how expensive actually are these items? Because I've not actually looked at it. Okay. So not not really bad, like not bad. I I've, I've got pistons just laying around like crazy. Oh, and uh <laughs> before we actually move on, I I almost had another thing I needed to get done. Um under the better storage or underneath uh was it actually additions, yeah, actually additions. Uh colossal chest walls. Uh we needed the gold, right? Um so colossal chest walls. Um, we needed these, right? So, I can make them. Um, and I can complete that, and we can also have, actually, dishes available. So, I think, with what we have now, we should be able to get this done, right? I hope. I hope this is enough. Right? That'll give us... 48. So we need just a little bit more gold, actually, to be able to complete this. Oh, we don't have enough. We're like right there, though. We are so close to having the gold. Um, do I actually have any gold, extra gold? I don't. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit more gold, and I'll be right back. All right, so I totally have enough to complete this now. Bam, two more. That's all I needed. Save the gold for the rest, because I will not be needing that for anything else as of right now. 
So bam, we have that done. Let's go ahead and throw the rest of the logs in there. And come go ahead and complete that quest. Quest complete. Let's get some actually additions. Hopefully that opens it. It does? That's awesome. So now we have access to all the actually addition stuff. Um, and then this one, I'm waiting. I'm just really waiting. I'm waiting for stone. Um, <laughs> I'm just waiting. There's a lot of waiting that's involved, but these two opening up is amazing because that means it gives us so much other stuff. Um, ways to actually help us automate Batania. There's so much other things, so much other things that we actually uh, unlock to help us out. So, um, pistons. That's some things we're going to need. We're going to need some pistons. Not very difficult to uh, get those. Uh, we will need some cobblestone. That is something that I just need to grab a stack of. Bam, and... Stack of wood. Get that stack of redstone again. And that stack of iron. I'm sure all, all these materials are stuff that we're going to need. Um, what is it? Item. Right here. Auto ejector. So, we're going to get a piston. We need a slime ball, not an ender pearl. Get back in there. There we go. Bam! Pop this in here, and we should be able to get the auto ejector. Auto ejector is made. What's the uh? What's these guys require? Shafts. Okay, so really just iron. Oh, so they only stack in threes. That's kind of weird. So that one stacked with a four. Okay, so they come in threes and they stack in fours. Does that make sense? I guess stuff doesn't have to make sense. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then we need these. So we're going to make a bunch of those. And we're going to grab a stack of the smooth stone. Which is up here. Sounds like it's still working to me. I'm going to leave it be while it's working. Alright, so the transport rollers. Get some of those. 48 of those. I want to use up the rest of the shafts. I don't think I'm going to use them for anything else. So there we go. Um, And then, what else do we need? We need the, uh, this guy. The insertion hatch. So, that is also pretty easy to make. It is just a very, your standard hopper. Which, I have made a lot of hoppers here recently. Um, and I'm glad to get away from hoppers. Okay, so it gives us two of those. That's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so uh, what I can do... Just to kind of test the waters here. I want to place that there. That is going to insert here. No other inventory for it to go into. And we're going to need to set some conveyors. I don't think there's any like specific tool... That this uses... Is there a rotation tool? I don't think there is. So when we place these, they're already facing this direction. And I wonder, do you have to give these things redstone signals to get them to work? I know there is a book. I know there is a book for this mod. That's not what I wanted to do. I want it to pull from this face. So how do I get it to do that? Do I have to... Of course, I'm going to have to face it a certain direction. I, know. I bet I will. I don't know. We'll try the redstone signal. If that doesn't work, then uh, we're going to find something else. So, pop that in here. And I don't know if there's any wrench. Is there a wrench right here? There is a, a monkey wrench. Okay, well, let's make that. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll let me turn this thing. Without me doing anything special. Okay, we'll leave you turned. <laughs> so it is working. And it's working very fast. Oh boy. Okay. 
so that's where these conveyors are going to come in handy. And uh, we're going to have it actually drop immediately straight down onto this conveyor. I don't think it has to connect directly to the conveyor to spit items out. I don't know. Uh, if it does, we're going to run... We're going to run these guys this way. I guess it's all dependent on, on how you set up these uh, set up these uh these tracks. So this guy needs to be turned. Let's get our monkey wrench. So the items come off of here down go across. So let's just do double check before Okay, so they do work. Works like that. So I'm going to keep these then go this direction. Then line this up, and we're gonna have to set some uh, set some stone down. I don't want these guys just hovering. Oh, let me go down here. And there we go. So this is uh this is a pretty awesome actually. It's a pretty neat concept. That's all I have to say. Um, so I can run a track here, right? And then just have the items drop right here. Right? I'm gonna have them. Yeah, I'm gonna have them just drop right here. Just like this, drop right down, and we're good to go. And I like that it doesn't affect players. A plus there. Alright, so this should be some kind of automation going on here. And as long as we don't keep our magnet on, which... Yeah, as long as we don't have our magnet on, we should be fine. What I'm interested in seeing... Oh, this has to be turned. Let's just throw the, uh, throw it back on there. There we go. Oh, I hear it firing. So it must be going into it. Yes! It is working! Oh yeah. We just got that set up. Um, and that's pretty simple. Like, these first sections are super simple. Um, and there's a couple of other things that we could do as well. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna make the other things, but, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, basic factory. Some of the other things it does. So, making blades. Um, resources from rivers. This is another thing that's pretty interesting with this mod. Um, the river gate, when placed near water, can give wooden mesh, um, and, or can be given wooden meshes. Generates iron, nickel, and copper nuggets. Um, it needs to be between, uh, 60 and 70 on the Y level. Which, I don't know what Y level we're at, actually. Um, what Y level are we at? That's a good question. I have my minimap turned off, just simply because I don't want it on. Um, what does it say? We're at Y level 91. We go down here. Which, actually, we can just F3 and just check. Um, we are at 86. So we have actually have to go down. That's weird. So I'll have to build something down. I can't even, can't even get that to work, actually. That will not work. Yeah, it needs to be between Y level 60 and 70 to get this to work. Hmm. Yeah, that's something that we might make, but from what I've seen, it doesn't generate that much or that many resources. So, the auto crafting unit uses gears to auto craft items. Um, it, keeps one, uh, it keeps one of every item and automatically balances stacks. That sounds like a beautiful mod. That's, or sounds like a beautiful item right here.
compared to what we have. Um, so, is it called the Auto Compactor? Or something like that? What are you called? Auto Crafting Unit? Requires some copper, a chest, and a piston. Okay. So, that is not going to be difficult at all. I am loving this, though. Look at that. It's just working. It's just working. And we just leave it work. Let Just let it work. Okay. So, I was coming to get some copper. And we're going to try and make this thing. There we go. There's our auto crafting unit. Is that all that that quest required? Yes, it was. Um, I wonder if these loot chests placeholder. Okay. That item's gone now. Because actually, I updated the pack, and you know what I forgot to do? Same thing I always forget to do. Update all that. So all that's updated. Um, let's actually take a look. Let's see, did any of this change? That's all the same. Ah, they fixed it. It is 64. Ah, it was not supposed to be 640. So, uh, that ended up fixing it for me. These are still 10. And we need elementium ingots, so we're not even there yet. That's an elven portal. So we don't have an, uh, the access to the elven portal yet. Um... I probably should have moved this to a different direction, but we can move we can move mana around with uh, with uh, sparks and stuff like that. So I'm not too concerned. All right, so testing out this auto crafter. I'll just place it down for right now and just see what the inventory looks like. So it requires these gears, um, and we have basic gears, invar gears, tempered gears. So your basic gears are stone surrounded by iron. That's your basic gears. And then you tell it what items you want it to... Well, you, you tell it, just tell it what you want it to make, right? And there it goes. It just made it. Okay. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So, we can honestly use this... to make compressed cobblestone. Right? Um, sometimes it's needed to make compressed cobblestone. So, what's a good way of doing this? Will, will it pump items? Maybe we can just set it up like this. And let's get a drawer. Let me go ahead and make a drawer real quick. And let's just see how this thing actually works, because we have another insert hatch. We can make another one of these. There we go. We have another auto ejector. So I can auto eject. Can I auto eject out the sides? That's the question. And do I have to have a conveyor belt, or can it automatically insert into this? We are about to find out. And we also need to set what the recipe is. So that that knows now that it's it, it's getting those items. And we need to put the gear in there. It just it ate our gear. Completely demolished our gear. Okay. It is losing items. Okay, so I'm thinking... Okay, so that... Whoa, that was building items up? It just wasn't processing them? Because it needs gears. Okay. Turn you off. You're you're not. You shouldn't be on. Let 
let's set you like that. Come on. Set you like that. Um, you're automatically going to send items. We need to make more of those gears. How many gears do I need? Is this thing really destroy gears that fast? It's just, it's actually not doing it. It's not working. Why you not work? Okay, so you're not pumping into it, for one thing. Okay, you're just pumping items out to the side. What are you doing? Okay, so... Okay, so... I don't know why it's pumping to this side. Maybe if I break it... Oh, come on. A fix say. Come on. <laughs> I thought it I thought that it just disappeared. Okay. So we can have the we we can have the auto crafting unit here. I wonder if even this will just pump directly into this like a hopper. Find out. Yep, it works. Sweet. So it's going to fill this guy completely up. And it took our gears. Every time we break it, it consumes the gear that it was using. Sweet. So this is, it's still a slow crafting table because of how it works. It's still better than nothing. That's perfect. Alright, so we have something that's making compressed cobblestone for us. We can just grab a stack at a time. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and it's working out for us. So, now that we have that, and we have actually additions, we can completely change everything with actually additions. I'm not kidding. Everything. And we have so much stuff. Uh, we can get started with actually additions, no problem. Um... Wow. So, we have getting into crates, um, iron casings. So, believe me, I'm going to get more into uh, factory tech. It seems like a pretty decent mod. I'm not kidding. It's just, it seems really decent and cheap. It's a cheap mod. doesn't seem like it's that bad. As long as these gears last a while because... Yeah. Yeah. If that's if that's really how how bad it is, that may go to the wayside cuz those gears are not cheap. That's a lot of iron. 4 iron per gear if they don't last very long. Not something to be sticking with cuz you can do so much automation with actually additions. It's unbelievable how much automation you can actually do. Um with all the tools that it provides. It provides like usually in a normal mod pack, this is something that I would go to for automation. Um, and that's something that I'll definitely end up doing. So, just keep that in mind. We can make our first casing, though. We just need some sticks. Some iron. Which, actually, I just used... My last bit of iron. I've used so much iron, it's unbelievable. Um, there it is. <laughs> my last bit of iron that I had stored in there. Um, so yeah, we can make an atomic reconstructor, but we can make our first casing first. Um, atomic reconstructor can come next. Uh, coal generator. That is one of the other perks. Is we can just jump right into RF. Where are you at? Where are you at, coal generator? There you are. So yeah, this is, this is a beautiful mod as well. I love it. I love this mod to death. Okay. Coal generator. Make a couple iron casings. With the horrible lag spike. Oh boy. I never know if this is going to crash. It's the only bad part about lag spikes. So there's those. And charcoal. 
Hey, I know where to get charcoal. Just stand on my my assembly line. Give me some charcoal. Thank you. That should be enough for a little while. I don't know if it's charcoal... has to be charcoal? I guess it could be coal as well. So there's two generators. And... We can set this up... Over here. This is where I kind of wanted to do... Some of this work. Awesome. And Atomic Reconstructor, let's go ahead and make... Before we place that down, we're going to make a redstone torch. Maybe not, if the redstone torch wants to work. Another story. And now it's at the pulse mode. Uh, we should be able to use a wooden pressure plate. Normally I like to use a button, but here lately, after I, after I used a wooden pressure plate for the first time... I'm never going back, because that made life a lot easier. I didn't have to, like, rush to push the button. I can just throw the stuff down, and it fires. Okay. So, we have tons of stuff in our inventory. Um, kind of a mess. I actually want to uh, kind of clear this stuff out, too. There we go. Um, yeah, all I need now is some coal. Literally all I need. Coal or charcoal, doesn't really matter. Either or works perfectly fine. It's all going to generate the same amount of RF. And bam, these guys are going to start working. Alright, so, did that uh, quest... Uh, do we get anything from here? Yes, we did. So we just went down the uh, technical line, just to really get all of the stuff up and running. And I'm going to clear out my inventory and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is cleared out enough. I want to see what's in these chests. Ooh, experience droplet. It looks like it changed. It looks like some of these have changed. That's from actually additions. And magenta dust. Stuff, we don't need the magenta dust, but... I don't know what these... These are just something you can consume, I guess. And this is used... Oh, it's resonating rice. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. It, like, sets an explosion on, off on you. Yep, that's some stuff. Um, I think that has its own uses. This is just experience. Droplets of experience. Pretty nice. Um, okay, so we have that. I want to get ore processing done. I mean, we can get it set up here, no problem. With these uh, generators. Um... That is not going to be a problem, and I think with this guy, auto-ejector, we could just use an auto-ejector to transfer the items over. Um, so, to get started, like, the basic of basic is a crusher and a furnace. So, you have your normal crusher, which is right here, which is a standard recipe. Um, we're going to need quite a bit of redstone, so let's go actually go ahead and get some redstone converted over. That's the main thing that this mod really consumes, is redstone. So, I'm going to get some 32 redstone. It should convert all of them. There we go. That's how you do that. And that's going to get us uh, started with uh, actually additions. Alright, so. We have all that. Let's get our crusher. Right. These are all black quartz. And that's how you get that. So. We need a few of those. Get our crusher made. I actually have another block here. I'm going to need another casing actually for uh, for this. I'm going to need to grab some iron. So yeah, the double crusher, uh, two flint, and cobblestone. I forgot I, I threw my cobblestone out. So there we go. Um, and flint, which I have tons of flint. And that's just to get the regular crusher. I could make the double crusher, but it uses a lot more power than I actually can generate right now. So I don't want to make the double crusher or the power, the uh, double furnace. Uh, so next is going to be the powered furnace. 
This guy is awesome. So, um, it also uses a lot of power. And uh, that's something that we're going to worry about. And it does use a couple pieces of iron that is turned into a nori. And now I do have a bunch of actually just stuff in that chest over there. But for the sake of time, we're just going to do it here. And we should have everything for this, right? We needed that. We needed another iron casing. Couple furnaces. No big deal. And... We already have those, so... Yeah, we can make it. Awesome. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to steal this because we only we don't actually need this right here for right now. There's better pieces we can, you know... We, there's better things we can use that for. We can set the crusher here. Power furnace here. And bam. And we can set this guy here. I gotta grab my wrench because I left it over here. And this is going to make for some easy automation, man. This, the factory mod, that's going to, that, that right there. That's a sideways hopper, and that's perfect. That means we can start doubling ores, and we could use normal hoppers to insert the stuff into. Um, that's no big deal. So, if I want to get more iron or gold going, I can do that. And uh, the thing with the uh, double furnace is it does it cooks things very fast, um, which is always a plus. So we throw that in there. That's going to get to crushing, and it's going to double our ore, right? Should there's no reason. Oh wait, no. Oh no. This is not doubling, right? Oh wait, yeah, it definitely is doubling. It just one pu it pulls it out so fast. I gotta actually make sure. Yeah, it's doubling. It was just pulling it out so fast. I was like, whoa, no way. He would not do that to us. That was weird. It spit it out on the ground. That's because it pulled and actually pulled it out of here. Um, so yeah, we can actually have this go in, into a, a chest. Um, and some of my new favorite chests are these chests and uh, you can actually have it go any kind of direction so just like that and for this I'm probably just gonna use a hopper um, I don't think I need to go any anywhere else with that other than a hopper I think a hopper works just fine uh, but making a sticky piston might be something good to make. Make it another one. Um, let's see. Let's make another. Auto ejector. Just like that. I thought I grabbed the wood. Didn't I grab wood? Oh yeah, it's what I needed for the, uh, I needed the wood for the piston. Okay. So we have this, and... We can just make a regular hopper. For everything else. Right? And then we pretty much have automated, or automated ore production. So just like that. Um, and then we set this... And that should go into this? Yes, it does. So, there we go. We have that pretty much set up. Um, actually, I'm, I'm kind of interested in moving this. Maybe putting it over here instead. And then having this... Ejected there, so it's a little bit cleaner looking. It's not in her face Bam And that's working um, this may not be producing enough power uh, Which is okay. It's okay. Um, it's understandable. So this thing's maxed out. This is not um, Yeah, this 
crusher running at full speed is going to require two coal generators. Which, understandable. Completely understandable. We'll just make another one. Simple as that. And then we'll have pretty much full automation. Well, it's not full automation. You still have to put the stuff in there. Um, we could fix that. We could just run conveyor belts all over the base. That is something that we could do. So there we go. And like that, we have another coal generator. You know what? I'll take some coal. And I'll just split it between them. And this guy has some, still has some fuel. And that should be plenty to keep this running. And this is plenty. If we did the split mode, that's when I think this will start consuming more energy. Yeah. It'll start using more power. So I'll keep it in single mode. And we should not have a power issue. So, there we go. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, we actually got quite a ways. Um, we're pushing pushing through this pack. Um, it is still a gated, so there are some things that seem more difficult than others. Um, like I said, the Batania one. That one is a very, very gated um, section. But I completely understand. Batania in itself, when pushed through... Um, has some very overpowered items, like some really nice uh, things to add to your arsenal in Sky Factory. Or, yeah, Sky, yeah, Sky Factory, oh gosh. In uh, Modern Sky Block, I don't know why I said Sky Factory. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, in Batania, that uh, is pretty powerful. So that'll be hel helpful later on to push, uh, push along. I don't exactly know what mod opens up. Is it Blood Magic, maybe? Is that Blood Magic? I don't know. Some true magic. That's what it says. I think that might be blood... Not blood magic. Why am I thinking blood magic? Um, that other... Evil craft. Evil craft. I think that might unlock evil craft or some other mod that's in here like that. But yeah. Uh, look at this, man. I'm, I'm super excited. This, uh, this made my day. So, this is going to make uh, things a lot easier because before then, I was hammering things on the table. So, definitely uh, something I'm excited about and this building. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. Man, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.